Hi everyone, Mr. Pettit here again with another jazz video for you. This one uses the song Blue Monk. Blue Monk is a famous song by a piano player called Theolonius Monk. And it's interesting particularly because it uses the chromatic scale. Now you might know what the chromatic scale is, but I'll just explain it anyway. Quite often scales on musical instruments, like a major scale, have gaps between the notes. I'll show you what I mean. Here's the first note of an E major scale. Here's the second note. Notice that I haven't played that note. Here's the third note. Notice I didn't play that note. Here's the first three notes. Here I keep going. So I played eight notes all together, but there's actually 12 spaces on the guitar that, and uh, notes that I could have used, but didn't use because the major scale leaves gaps. Here it is again. So that's a major scale, a very common scale in music. Here's a minor scale, again, quite common, and it uses gaps. It just puts the gaps in a different place to get a different sound. Here's a minor scale. The chromatic scale, the scale that Theolonius Monk uses for this tune, uses every single space. So it hasn't got eight notes in, it's actually got 12 notes in. Have a look. I'm playing on every single space, all the way up the guitar. So this song uses that scale. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Let's try that first line together. So the first four notes are chromatic notes. It goes zero, one, two, three. And then it does the same pattern on the bottom string. Zero, one, two, three. Let's play that together. Ready? One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Then on the bottom string. No, one, two, three. Let's do that again, those first two bars. Starting on the second string with nor, one, two, three, and then on the first string, nor, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Nor, one, two, three, then change string. Nor, one, two, three. Good, and then the rest of that line sounds like this. Three, four. Here it is again, three, Quite tricky that bit, worth having a practice of that section because actually each line of the song ends the same, ends with that bit. So if you need practice just pause the video now and have a quick go at the first page and then when you're ready play the video and we'll carry on. So first line together, ready? One, two, three, four, no, one, two, three, change string. No, one, two, three, now the D. Great, and again, this time you play the tune, I'm going to play the chords. Ready? One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, change string. No, one, two, three, change back. Da, 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 da. On to the second line. The second line's got the same rhythm, but different notes. Have a look. Now we're on the bottom string. No, one, two, three. And then the next four notes on the tab are three, four, five, six. Now I'm not gonna be able to reach them from here because my pinky can only reach up to the four and I've gotta get right up there. So what I'm gonna do is move position. This here is called position number one. It's called position number one because my first finger is on fret one. Here's position two. Now my first finger is on fret two. Here's position six. Now my first finger is on fret six. The position we're gonna use for this part of the song is position three. There it is. I've got my first finger on fret number three. And now I'm ready to play those next four notes on the tab. The next four notes are three, four, five, and six. Here they come. 
Have a go. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. So let's put those two bits together. We're on the second line here. We're playing on the bottom string after four. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Now quickly move to third position. Notice you're going to play the same note again, just with a different finger. Here's the change. And ready, go. Three, four, five, six. And now this line ends the same as the first line ended. So get that D ready. Let's move back to first position now. There's my D. Two, three, four. Let's play that whole line, the whole second line, after four. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Change position, play the same note again. Three, four, five, six. Back to first position, a D. Good, let's do that line one more time. This time, you're playing the tune, I'm on the chord. Ready? Second line. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Change position. Three, four, five, six. Quickly change back to the D. Da, 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 da. Good. So let's put those two lines together, the first line and the second line. A quick note before we start about swing. This song is a jazz song and it uses a swing rhythm. I'll explain what I mean. The first four notes go dum dee dum dee. They don't go like this. They're not all equal, they're not all the same length. It's a bit like riding a horse, I always think. So if I'm going Horses don't go, penguins do that. So if you're a penguin, you're going to play those notes, which are called straight notes. They're all the same length. They just go dum, 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 and then dum, 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 dum. But I want you to be a horsey. I want you to be in the swing rhythm, which is used in jazz, where the first note is long, the second note's a bit shorter. The third note's long, the fourth note's a bit shorter. Remember? One, two, three, first line. Then change string. So that's the swing rhythm. Dum, dee, dum, dee, dum. Bit like riding a horse. Let's play the first two lines together. Ready? I'm going to be playing the chords. You're going to be playing the notes. I'll count you in. One, two, and three, and four. No, one, two, three, change string. No, one, two, three, change back to the D. Da, da, da. Second line, bottom string, ready, go. No, one, two, three, third position. Three, four, five, six, back to the D. Da, 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 da. Great, I'll leave the music up here now. And then if you need a practice, pause the video and have a quick practice on your own. Let's have a look at the last line now. The last line starts with three one beat notes, sounding like this. And then that funny squiggle, which means shh, it means one beat of silence, a one beat rest. Here's those three notes again. We've got a D, we know this note, it's three on the second string. And then the next two notes are zeros and they're on the fourth string. So you need to count up with your thumb. One, two, three, four, and play that string twice. And because they're zeros, we don't need any fingers on this hand. And then the shh. So here's those three notes again. Play with me. One, two, three, four. Shh. Great. And then this line ends the same as the other lines. But instead of playing that little sequence once, we actually play it twice. And they're separated by a shush. I'll show you what I mean. Here's the end of the third line. Three, four. Shh. So it's that ending, the same as the ending of the first line and the second line, but they're separated by a shush. Let's try that together. In fact, let's try the whole bottom line together. Ready with those three notes? We'll do it nice and slow to start with. One, two, three, four. Shh. Ending. 
Ending again. Good. That third line's a bit tricky. So pause the video now if you want to have a practice of it. And then we will carry on and play the whole song just slowly together. Here we go from the start now, right from the first line. I'll play the chord, you play the tune. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, change string. No, one, two, three, and. Da, 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 da. Second line, bottom string, no, one, two, three, here we go. No, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, and the ending. Da, 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 da. Third line. Let's do it again from the start. Here we go. And no, one, two, three, change string. No, one, two, three, change back. D. Da, 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 da. Second line. And da, 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 da. Three, four, five, six. Back to the D. Da, 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 da. Last line. With the CD now, after four, it's pretty fast, I'll warn you. Let's see how we get on. After four, ready? G, one, two. Ready? One, First line, two, two three, three, four. No, one, two, three, change string. Back to the D. Second line, box string, no, one, two, three. Third position. Back to the D. Now the three one beat notes. Three. Ending. Ending. Let's get round again. No, one, two, three. Bottom string. Back to the D. Second line. No, one, two, three. Third position. Back to the D. Third line. D, ending again, D. Okay, good. So on to the improvising. Improvising is what happens in the middle of a jazz song, and I'm sure you're familiar with this already. If you're not sure what improvising is or how to do it, just quickly turn to the other video on my channel, which is called How to Improvise, and then that'll give you an introduction and then come back here. So this is a jazz song. At the start of the song, we're gonna be playing the tune together. Then in the middle of the song, we're going to improvise and we'll take it in turns. And then at the end, we will play the tune together again. The notes that we can use in this song are the G blues scale. This is a blues uh, uh, song in the jazz style, but it uses the blues structure. And we can use notes from the G blues scale. The G blues scale is coming up here. It sounds like this. If I play it backwards, it sounds like this. Pause the video now and have a quick go at the blues scale on your own so that you know those notes hopefully off by heart. So pause now and have a practice. Off you go. So you'll probably have noticed on the blues scale, the G blues scale, there's only one note that uses zero fingers, one open note, and that's the first note. There's two notes that use first finger. Here they are. Have a go at those two notes, the F and the C. There's three notes that use third finger, G, a D, and that note, which is a B flat. Have a go at those three notes. They're all in the scale. And there's only one note that uses second finger. There it is. 
And that, funnily enough, is called the blues note. And it's a really nice note to put into your solos, in the middle of your solos. It gives a really nice blues effect. That note's called a C sharp because it's slightly higher than sharp. There's, uh, sorry, slightly higher than C. There's C. There's C sharp. It's also got another name. It's a bit lower than D. There's D. So we can also call it D flat. Flat is the word in music that means slightly lower. So it's a C sharp, but it's also a D flat. That note's got two names. Have another practice of the G blues scale. And when you're ready, we're going to improvise together and I'm going to play the chords. OK, let's improvise. Choose which note you're going to use first from the G blues scale. Ready to play? One, two, three, four. Off you go. Keep improvising. Remember, you can use any of those notes from the scale in any order that you like. You can play long notes, you can play short notes, and you can leave a gap sometimes. Keep going. And choose a last note now. Good. So let's improvise with the CD now. I'm going to go first and then I'll pass it over to you. Remember, we can use any notes from the G blue scale. Here it is. I'm going to start on, I think I'm going to start on the blues note, that note that we talked about. Second finger, second string, quite a nice way to start. One, two, one, two, three, Here I go. four. <laughs> Turn to improvise, off you go now. Keep going. You can use any notes from that scale. And think about long notes and short notes. And remember you can play the same note more than once. You don't have to keep changing notes. Good, back to me. So I can play a G lots of times. And then change. Try that. Choose a note, play it lots of times. And think about an interesting rhythm you could play just on one note. There's loads of things you can do when you improvise. And the great thing, of course, is every time you improvise, it's different. OK, well played. So let's try the whole song with the CD. Remember, we're going to play the tune together. That's this bit. Then we're going to play the improvising one at a time. I'll go fast first, then I'll pass it over to you. And then we're back to the tune at the end. Here it comes after four. Ready for the tune? Second string. Nought, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, Here we three, go, and bottom string, and the D. Second line, not one, two, three. Third position, three, four, five, back to the D. One beat note, and go. My turn to improvise. Your go. Off you go. Keep improvising. Ready? Back to the start. One, two. Three, here we go. And the D. Bottom string. Position three. 
Back to the D. One big note. That's Blue Monk by Theolonius Monk, famous jazz piano player. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down the bottom there. And down in the description there, I will put some links. I'll put a link to the videos I've mentioned about um, how to improvise and also the video about how to read tab. And I'll also put a link to Theolonius Monk playing this tune. I'll see if I can find a version of him playing so you can watch him actually doing it. Take care. Stay safe. Keep practicing your guitar. See you soon. Bye now. Thank mm -hmm. you.